Hello everyone, it's Johannes Lacroix bringing you another episode of uh, um, Test Drive Unlimited 2. Now I tried to do this uh, a few hours ago, but it, but the game crashed. Now I was going to say at that time that I was recording from an earlier time in the day because it's a half day. Anyway, so what we left off with taking our A7 Sash A6 license, and now we are about to participate in the first asphalt championship. Alright, let's see what there is to offer. We don't have all day! Tess, are you ready? Always. Perfect! Hello, everyone! It's D Day for Solar Crown. Things will start to get serious with this the first asphalt championship. Forget the off-road and classic competition. Today's challenge is all about performance and performance cars. <sighs> and I hate to break it to the other racers, but this is my event. I hope you like the look of my tail light. Oh. Also, she's not quite introduced to her father yet. Okay, um... Alright, well this is going to be a pretty interesting championship, so I think we're going to start down here. Alright. Oh, this is a racetrack at, um, this is a, a speed trap at the racetrack. Come on. Exactly like speed traps, but oh, to force one's way oh it's this kind of speed trap. Miles per hour. A true treat for the senses in today's speed race. Stay tuned. Things are going to heat up. Oh yes, they will. I can take whatever desired path I like. As long as I average more than 68 points, 68 miles an hour, and I think this will be pretty easy. Time, yeah. Uh, it's take a long time. Oh, I love speed. Air time. And this, this is like pretty much our top speed here. Always just take this path. It's always the best path. And the only path that's worth it. Alright, a little bit more time left. And there we go. I think victory was ours. Wow. No penalty at all. We won that race. And... Ooh, cool. Stuart Wintory had... Her father's got an Alfa Romeo Brera. So, I never told you this, but... Um, Tess Wintory is pretty much the person who introduced us into the game. Um, and now she's our main rival. And Stuart Wintory is not her brother, but it's her father. And sh and he owns an Alfa Romeo Brera. Pretty sweet ride. But, to be honest though, guys, I crushed you! Where were you? Well, at least the Wintory family did pretty well. I can actually do this pretty quickly. Alright, this will be the salt marsh challenge. 
Oh, salt marsh, yeah, salt marshes. I love that because then someone someone kept on repeating the word salt marsh when he was guessing for Pictionary, um, for um, Pictionary related to a certain field trip of ours in seventh grade, uh, and this person kept on saying salt marsh, and it it's become one of his catchphrases. It's just awesome. Time for the salt marsh, yeah. And this is the only time in which that message is appropriate. It was sort of appropriate in the second classic championship, but uh, it is completely appropriate here. Oh, Tess Winter, he got a got off to a good hard start. I think let's turn on the radio, inspire ourselves. No, can't do it. Nope, never mind. That's gonna... No! Aw, oh, man! I missed an or not moment. What am I doing? Alright, Mom just called. Sorry about that. <sighs> but anyway. No. Well, this could that could have been an or not. All right, left indicator off. Well, that could have been an or not moment. I could have I could have made that into All right, let's see how this thing corners. Alright, let's see if you can set my pants on fire, dude. Oh, come on, VW Golf, you've ruined me and my life. And that is what I had to do. Jeez, you have to. Oh. I, I asked you to set my set my pants on fire, and you did not. All right, come on, please set my pants on fire now. Yes, the golf UTI is perfect at cornering, like they say it is. Well, except I'm handling this thing terribly. But does it have to go up hills? This is not a good hill climb. This is. A hatchback, not a hill climb special. Come on. Alright, it's downhill from here. Come on, Tess, get out of my way. What am I doing going off road with this thing? This should be the Lancia's job. It's got four wheel drive, it should be able to do the job easy. No wonder I'm not a big fan of front wheel drive stuff. Okay, I just destroyed the speed limit sign, which means there are no more speed limits, yay! Alright, the finish is coming up. Alright, that was quite a rowdy, um... That was pretty rowdy, you know? Uh... I think... There we go. Victory is ours again. And it looks as though Adam seems to have destroyed Stuart Wintery. Okay, Adam, you need to improve. Just saying. No, okay, that's not what I meant. Uh, Stuart Wintery did pretty well, but Adam, I have to say, Adam, Adam, Adam squashed him. Well, apparently the other guys, Chris Wilder and Miami Harris, agree with me in the Gulf GTI supremacy. And in the Alfa Romeo uh, chase. Oh, Ryan Wilder has a Brera as well. Why isn't he doing as well as Stewart? Well, he's probably not, 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 not that good at asphalt. He's terrible. It's, you know. Anyway. It's pretty far. 
Um, let's do a race a across the beach. This would be pretty fun. It's only been halfway through the episode. Um, so I had a half day. Got released at 11 o'clock. Very short day, but there was absolutely no classes at all either. So I had a ton of fun today. And I'm um, already enjoying myself. The starting line for what promises to be an intense race. Well, please, please do, because I'm looking to kick all of your butts. Oh, that was a disastrous start. Ten Tess Winter got a got a big push off the line. Another hairdresser. Okay, I'm gonna buy a new haircut now. I don't know what I was thinking when I went through that corner. Because I'm pretty much mistreating this Golf GTI. It's meant to go around corners. Alright. Golf, can you go around the corner, please? Alright, well, it seems to have uh, succeeded partially. See if you can set my trousers on fire here. <clears throat> That's very nice. Okay. Um. Well, there we are. This is looking to be pretty easy. I might even finish this championship with a in one try. I asked you to go around the court! And uh, you got hit. And here comes Tess. It wasn't very... It wasn't very, um... Good. I wasn't being very smart there. How does Tess Wintry do so well? We got the exact same car. Oh, come on, son, get out of the way. I'm sitting in the middle of the sun. Alright, well, that's that. Only three hundredths of a second lead there. But I'm getting away. Well, that, that was that was that was mastered brilliantly. Um, yes, that is how a hatchback is supposed to go around corners. GTI, the most important part of it is to go around corners. That was brilliant. Looks as though I made it. Was way better. Right. I wasn't thinking when I reached this point. Um, it looks like twins passed by. Oh man! It's got low battery. I don't know if I can finish this one. I made it this far with uh, no battery. Ooh, brand name clothes. So I'm going to I'm going to have a makeover when I'm done with this championship, guys. All right, let's not do some speed.
Here we go. That's brilliant. Alright. Victory was ours. How much battery power have I got? Fourteen percent. Plenty to finish this video. When this time Stuart finished ahead of Adam, you did pretty well there. And who is Adam? I don't know. I have no idea who he is. All right. That's that. Keep on doing this one exactly as we should. Alright, over here, nearby the uh, apartment in which the game began. Wait, I don't think that is where the game began. Um. I think the game actually began in here. No, the game did not begin in here. Um, didn't. It's a time trial this time. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time is passing by and we need to hurry up. Let's meet the candidates for this timed challenge. Candidates are always the same. Don't you realize that, Tess? Wow, this is a beautiful beach. I never noticed that, but I think I might have gone accidentally come over here to Monte Carlo. Yep, it is Monte Carlo. I'm going up the up the racetrack backwards, uh, bypassing the station hairpin. Yeah, up until there, that was the Monte Carlo track. That's good enough. Wow, perfectly executed corner by the Golf GTI. This is always proof that why the Golf GTI is always king in terms of GTI and hatchbacks. Oh boy, it's a Ferrari dealership here. We just found we're fi we're finding so many things here in the Southern Pizza. All right, goodbye, traffic light. Nobody cares about you. Well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna reset anyway, isn't it? And it's a beautiful. It's like a ten out of ten day out here in Ibiza, and in real life. Ah, wait a minute, this is the station hairpin. It seems to have been misplaced. Um, and mirrored. I'm going up the station hairpin backwards. Oh, it's a... Oh, this is the one with the penalties. Oh. Oh, almost finished it. It seemed like we didn't do that right at that corner, but anything else. Yeah. The finish line is almost near. Hey, we're circling something. Yeah. Victory's ours got a 0 0.7 penalty. We finished the race in the shade. And that was perfect. 
uh, 1.98 seconds victory. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, I could still lose this championship. I could lose this championship to either one of them. 